Hey, I want you to know, I want you to know something. This is week number 164 of the North Georgia Revival. And right at 19,000 people have been water baptized just here in, in the facility, not counting all the other churches that are represented. And one of those churches that are here tonight, just, just remain standing for the next moment or two, is Pastor Jason Adair from Victorious Faith Church in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. They flew down just for tonight. They just came in from tonight. We were with them, I think, last week. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and the glory of God fell. I want you to help me welcome Pastor Jason Adair as he comes. Come on, welcome Pastor Jason all the way from Kentucky. God bless you. Pastor Jason, so good to, to have you. In fact, you guys can be seated. I know that uh, you're going to be, you've been standing. What a great looking group tonight. So glad that you're here. Ah. Oh. Praise God. Oh, it's wonderful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pastor Jason, come on up here. You flew in. Uh, we flew in. Yeah, uh, landed in Gainesville. We bounced in, actually. We bounced yes. in. Yeah. Guys, I need you to uh, hang with me in the back, if you would, and just follow along with us, if we can, because we're having some technical issues a little bit tonight. Um, Pastor Jason, we were up in Prestonburg, Kentucky, two weeks ago. First of all, I wanted to ask you this question. Did you have any idea what you were about to get into when you invited the North Georgia Revival to come? <laughs> to? I said it then, I say it again now. As a pastor, I never would have dreamed going in that I would have a swimming pool in the altar of my church. <laughs> and uh, we're already, we're already kind of word of faith, charismatic church in a very mainline denomination ran area. So he is already weird, <laughs> and then we buy a swimming pool because of this guy's coming, and uh, it just went up to another couple of notches. But no, did I ever think? No, I had no idea what to think about you coming and us putting the pool in the in the sanctuary. But we were open. We were open. I we remember open. The, the the second person that got into the water. <laughs> you were like over here to the right, and I shared the story with our people the other day. And Pastor Derek was next to me, and, yes. and that lady got free. Yes. Devil cast or yes. just came out of her. Right. You saw that. Come I out. saw that come right out of her. And the other guys said that they felt the wind go by, but I saw that demon came out. I, I saw that thing when it came out. And I just, I just yelled out, did you see that? And they said, we felt it. <laughs> so, but that young lady, I don't know if you're going to tell that story, but it goes right along with what Pastor Marty was just saying. She was the chaplain of the rehab. And they came on Monday night, and they only had a certain amount of time that they could be away. And then they came back Tuesday night, and then they came back Wednesday night. And out of that rehab, almost every girl, I, I would say almost 30 of them, got water baptized. And then they went back. Demons came out of them. They were, I mean, one of them, I... I one of the pictures is a, is a young lady that had never been in a church, never stepped foot in a church and lined up against the wall and waited for an hour and a half to get in the pool. There she is right there, Jason, right there. That's her. Never, never been in a church and waited along the wall Come on. and then got in the pool, got saved, baptized in the Holy Ghost went in, lost, and came out full of the Holy Ghost and fire. Absolutely amazing. And then they went back to that rehab, and the next day, the fire of God fell in the rehab, and those girls, this is one of them, but the chaplain that the demon came out of, revival broke out in, in the rehab. The counselors and some of the staff members got born again. They took them out. This is in the mountains of eastern Kentucky, a little town called Pippa Passes. And they went out into the river. When they showed me the picture, it looked like Class 5 Rapids. It was white water in the middle of March. And they're baptizing. What? 50 or 60 of those girls got baptized. And that revival continues in the rehab tonight. Jesus. It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Look at there. there. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. 
JJ, if you can, pull me up another one of those pictures of uh, someone getting baptized, uh, not in the river, but at, at his church. And I want you to speak to it, if you can. Um, one of those with a caption, you may see that. Yeah, this, tell yeah. us a little bit about this fellow right here. This is Ryan, uh, born with a birth defect, in constant pain his entire life. Limited mobility, the whole nine yards had learning disabilities. Got baptized that night. From the moment he came out of that water, not an ounce of pain left in his body. The learning disabilities, dyslexia, has left him every day. He gets better and better and better and better. Pull up another one if you would, JJ. This is AJ, yeah, 12 years old, you see it there. Uh, just this morning, I was teaching Sunday school in the church, and his mother came in and read a letter from the principal of the high school, hot off the presses, that said, AJ's life, whatever happened, whatever that was, in a swimming pool, in a church, whatever that was, changed his life. That young man, 12 years old, ADHD, learning disabilities, all of that, on medication, could not sleep. From the moment that he got water baptized and came out of that water, he slept every night perfectly, soundly through the night. The dyslexia is gone. The ADHD is gone. Come on. As a matter of fact, when I was pulling out of the drive of the church today to go get on the airplane, he looked at me and said, this week I read 10 books. Come on. Ten books. Never read a book in his life. Never able to read a book in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, Pastor, we know these people. I mean, these are our people. And when we see God do something in a swimming pool, I'm like, He's alive. He can do anything. He can do anything. He can do anything. He can do anything. Pull up another. I don't know if we've got another one. Is that it? Keep them coming. Come, I mean, come on. I like this. This feels good. I think that may be it. Or, or is systems down? Okay, that's all we have. Scott, what? can I tell you about Scott? Tell us this about is your, <laughs> sit me down if you want me to. <laughs> but I flew down here to talk about this. <laughs> I came here really, honestly, I came here to say thank you. I, I came here to say thank you to this church and all these local churches that are sharing your pastors and leaders not only with Kentucky and Tennessee, but the nation and the nations of the earth because of your generosity to honor what God is doing here and sow that into the nations of the earth. You have a harvest coming back on you that you haven't seen yet, but it will come back. Deuteronomy 111 said, God will make you a thousand times greater than your enemies as you honor Come on. what God is doing, as you honor what God is doing through these men of God. Come on, you got to shout right there because you know it's true. you got to shout right there. You know it's true. He's a miracle worker, and you've got a target on your back. God Almighty has something good coming down your road to you tonight. Thank you. Thank you for sharing Pastor Todd with us. Thank you for sharing all of these pastors. I don't know them, but thank you. We just had Bishop Lance was there. Wherever his congregation is, thank you for sharing these men and women of God with us to see our communities changed. We don't take it lightly, and we, we honor these men and women when they come because we know they're making a deposit in our communities that's making a difference for the kingdom of God. Amen. Now, a, another man, young man uh, that you baptized, his name was Scott. For 31 years, he was addicted to nicotine. He went through five cans of skull a day. That's him. Five cans of skull a day. Copenhagen, Copenhagen, a day. 31-year addiction. He walked into that pool that night and said, I want you to have it. I didn't even know all this. I, I didn't know, I didn't know this. He sent me an, when he walked out of that pool, totally delivered from nicotine. Today, 11 days free, he said. I haven't had one dip in 11 days. 31 year addiction broken. He was healed at that, at that moment of restless leg syndrome. 
severe joint pain. He had to take cortisone steroid shots for 22 months. And the pain never left him. In severe need of surgery, both shoulders and elbows needed complete reconstruction. But in the baptismal waters that night, God overhauled Brother Scott and healed him and delivered him of all of that. We, we, we talk about it at the church sometimes, but God said to Moses, and in 1 Corinthians 10, Paul said, they were all baptized to Moses in the Red Sea. When Moses led the children of Israel through the Red Sea, God said to Moses, and Moses turned around and told, to the people of, told the people of God, these Egyptians that have followed you, you will see them no more hereafter forever. When that baptism happened unto Moses, those Egyptians tried to follow the people of God out of that water, and they never made it. And all I know is in three days of you coming to our church, there was a lot of drowned Egyptians, things that have followed people and pursued people and tried to hold people down and kill people for, for decade after decade, drowned in that water that night. The people of God came out free, and all we know is there was horses' hooves and chariot wheels left in the water, and the people of God are free because of what God is doing in North Georgia and what God is doing through, through all of you that have made a place for him. And we honor you. We bless you. I know I've taken more time than I was allotted. Stand to your feet. Let's extend our right hand. Miss Donna, make your way up here very quickly, if you would. I want you to come here, Pastor Jason. I want to extend our right hand. Uh, North Georgia Revival pastors, I want you to come. And uh, In fact, if you're a pastor in the building, if you're a pastor in the building, come right now. And we're going to lay hands on Pastor Jason. And, um, and he's going to be representative of all the pastors that are hungry for revival in Kentucky. God has always loved Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky, uh, Cane Ridge Revivals, Red River Revival. Seems like every awakening has started in Kentucky. And, um, and God is aware of that. He loves the people of Kentucky. I believe he loves the land. I, lo I believe he loves the mountains on the east side, and he loves the flat land on the east, uh, west side and all the beautiful rivers in between. Um, so we're going to pray for him. There's a revival that Bishop Lance has been involved in now for uh, going on a couple of months. Every week he travels on Sunday afternoon to preach at uh, the River Church in Nortonville, Kentucky. He was happened to be there that night traveling through and, and listened to us, uh, watched us baptized, helped us uh, that night when uh, he came through to the western part, eastern part of the state. How many of you believe that, that God's up to something in this country? How many of you believe that it's not lessening but intensifying? We'll be back in Prestonsburg the 27th, 28th, and 29th, I think it is, of April. Be in Missouri this coming Thursday and Friday. And everywhere we're able to share the story. The fire of God touching people on the water. In the water, it breaks out. It's nameless, it's faceless. It has nothing to do with any personality. If a chaplain can get so touched in that water and baptize 50 to 70 of her own girls in a cold 40 degree river and the power of God fall. She said many of them couldn't get falling out in the Holy Ghost in the river. Had to keep them from floating down the river. <laughs> Touch your neighbor and say it ain't over. It ain't. It ain't over. Touch your neighbor and say it's just beginning. It's just beginning. Just beginning. Like God. Isn't it just like God? The first coming of Jesus, he said John the Baptist baptized people unto repentance. The second coming of Jesus, he's touching the earth with water baptisms. A baptism of repentance and healing. He's coming. So Pastor Jason, we declare over you in the mighty name of Jesus 
You and your friends, your pastors, your leaders, your church, oh. the chaplain, Melissa, Jesus. Pastor Howard, Pastor Derek, Pastor Chuck, all of those gentlemen, yes. Pastor Clint up there in Kentucky and a host of others, Pastor Todd Hill and many others. Sure. Father, that Kentucky shall be saved. Yes. Oh, yeah. Pastor Tom Schaefer, Kentucky shall be saved. Kentucky shall be a baptismal outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we pray protection upon them. We pray protection and wisdom that every principality and power shall not harm them in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we give God all the glory. And Pastor Jason, carry this, carry yes. this, carry this. Yes. Everywhere you shall go, baptize people. Watch them come to know Jesus and get healed and delivered. And everybody said amen and amen. 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 Come on, let Pastor Jason know you love him.